Hi, I'm Pete Forsyth, Principal of Wiki Strategies and instructor for the free online course, Writing Wikipedia Articles. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use the tool Catalog on Wikimedia Commons. This is a tool that makes it easy to categorize large number of files and move them around uh, from one place to another. Uh, it's much more efficient than the basic built-in tools of the Wiki and, uh, and can really help you accomplish a lot more. Uh, this is a sort of intermediate level task. It's going to assume that you have a basic understanding of how to upload files to Wikimedia Commons and how to edit a wiki. Uh, so let's get started. First, let's look at the, uh, the help page for the gadget. This is a, a gadget is um, essentially it's something that's going to show up in your user preferences as an option. So gadgets are tools that are written by, uh, by volunteers typically. Uh, in the Wikimedia movement and uh, and added to the software. So this page has lots more detailed information that I'm going to show in this video. So if you have questions, this is a good place to look for them, and you'll find the links uh, in the associated file page. So the first thing we want to do is go to the user preferences page, and then we're going to go to the gadgets tab, and we're going to find the entry for catalog. Let me just scroll down. These are categorized within gadgets. So let's just scroll down near the bottom. We've got tools for categories, and it's the very first entry, catalog. And be sure then to scroll all the way to the bottom and click the Save button uh, to save that change. So now that we have, uh, have enabled that, we're going to find in certain pages that we see a new link. So let's go to the category Baseball Players. Okay, and as this loads up, uh, we're going to notice in the lower right corner, you see this link that says catalog. And so what this, uh, th there, there are several different aspects to what this enables, uh, but the basic thing is we're going to be able to select uh, some of these files here and put them in a different category. So to get started doing that, you want to click on that link, and it's just going to open this sub-screen, this sub-window in the lower right corner. Uh, if you take a look at that for a moment, you'll see one line that represents the category we're already looking at. So baseball players here, uh, sort of in the middle. Above that, there are going to be several categories that are parent categories to baseball players. And then below that are going to be the subcategories of baseball players. So let's see how it works. I'm just going to choose a few files here. So once I've clicked on this, it's going to make it so that I can select uh, images within this category. So you'll notice if I click in the white area below the, uh, the, the picture itself, you see how that turns light green. So that's now selected. And if I use the shift button, that will allow me to choose a range. So I'm going to go uh, to the right here and click here. You notice it goes not only those two, but the one in between. Uh, now, the one in between is actually a color photo, and I'm, I'm looking for black and white portraits here. So I'm going to use the control key and click on that to deselect that one. And of course, uh, when, when you're doing this, you'll notice sometimes the window really gets in the way of making the selection that you want to. So sometimes you have to be a little creative to get the right selection or do things in two steps. Uh, but right now we have these two photos selected, and I am going to move them out of the category baseball players and into the category black and white photographic portraits of baseball players. Now I'm going to do this as a move so that I can demonstrate that it's done, but another option is that you could copy them. So you leave them in the category that you're already looking at and you also put them in the other category. But let's just do it as a move. All I have to do now is click this move button to the right of the category I want to enter. And it's going to give me a little progress window and tell me when it's done. If you have a large number of files that you're working with, that might uh, that progress window might be up there for 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, and now we can click on Return to Page. I'm going to refresh the page, and then we're going to look for Al DeVormer. Uh, and you see this is uh, this is where the Al DeVormer photo was before, so he's no longer in this one. But if we were to go to, uh, I'm going to scroll up, and if we go to the black and white photographic portraits of baseball players, we will find now that his is in there. There we go. There's our photo. So 
Oh, uh, one other uh, one other detail to note here that's very useful is you, you don't have to go off the list of categories that already shows up. Let's say I wanted to put, let's say I found a picture of a fish here, or there. let's say for some strange reason there were 50 photos of fish in the category of baseball players. Someone had made a mistake and we just want to fix it. Um, I can type in, and that's going to show me a little list of, of categories that start with the word fish. So now if I click on fish, you'll see that that, um, oh, and then I have to hit the enter key. Now it's going to show fish and a bunch of related categories here. So if I made a selection of several files, I could then move them or copy them to the category fish. So I hope this tool is useful to you. You're, you're going to find that the, the catalog link shows up in a number of different places. Uh, not just in categories, but on gallery pages and a number of different places uh, on the Wikimedia Commons site. So hopefully this is enough to get you started and uh, and and organizing photos on Commons. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please look at our website, wikistrategies.net, or at the uh, course page for writing Wikipedia articles. Here are the links. And also be sure to look at the file page for more links to what we just looked at today.